right so in this video i'm going to show you how to detect charging current right and um, how to do to manually detect the charging current without um guessing right and without uh, a dc uh, power supply to judge the current of the battery charging current so the battery charging current is what charges the battery how fast how slow the battery will charge the charge voltage is what is generated from the charging chip right and the charge current which is monitored through the smc or the ec this is an apple a1466 right a20000165 right and um as you can see the battery is now charging we're getting orange light where the orange glow light is there and this is the charge current sensing resistor according to the schematic this is the charge adapter charge current sensing resistor here all right charge current sensing resistor so i'm going to measure the voltage so the voltage to the, the, the total amount of current which is i right u which is the pressure drop on both sides of the current divided by the resistance value drop which is most likely 0 0.02 according to the schematic all right so let's go for the schematic just to confirm all right so as you can see now i'm on the screen here and i'm just gonna type in uh open the everything and i'm gonna search for eight two zero hyphen zero zero as you can see my everything program is updating its database that is why you're not seeing the search query all right one six five so i'm just gonna wait on the all right here we go so i'm just gonna open the schematic here and i'm also gonna open the board view all right all right so the resistor that i want is on the board view here it's right here on the next side let me just flip around this board view and oh i was correct okay so it's on this side right here so here is it here is it says so r7120 as you can see this is the negative side say r7120 right and this is r right and this is this side says so charge current rp which is positive and rn which is negative so we're going to subtract the positive from the negative and divide it by its current drop which is 0 0.02 so i'm going to type in r7120 in the schematic now so it's r7120 all right here we go as you can see it has a 0 0.02 right 0 0.02 pressure drop after passing through this resistor here right so this is the charge current sensing resistor as you can see 73 sorry charge i uh, charger underscore csi underscore rp and same rn coming through 210 ohm resistor and it is going to the charging chip here which is the isl 6259 all right so i'm going to do that now so i'm measuring the voltage on both side hold on all right so i'm measuring the voltage now on the positive side and i get 17.89 and i'm now going to measure the voltage on the negative side and i get 18 18 17.99 all right the next positive is 18.03 so 18.03 right so and this is my side is 18.01 so i'm going to open the calculator i'm going to stop so i'm going to open the calculator so i have the calculator open so i have 18.15 volts on, on the negative side and i have 18.17 on this side so that's going to subtract 18 oops let me clear the screen again 18.21 uh, 
of 80.21 subtract and the negative side I have 18.1 18.16 and that's equal to 0 0.05 now we're going to divide it by our current pressure drop here which is 0 0.02 All right, let's get back the calculator up. All right, so that's divided by zero, zero point zero five divided by zero point zero two. And how many current we get? Two point five. And as you can see on the DC power supply, I have two point one because it is changing constantly. So the current is is constantly changing so it's not 2.5 anymore if i measure the resistance so it's within 2, 2 volts 2 amps 2 ampere of charge current all right so i have 2.5 ampere which was before at the current time now it has changed because if i measure it's completely changed 18.26 on the next side i have 18.1 